love me sun and sea, that love me coconut tree. I love me sweet beliefs, sweet beliefs. Land of the Isles and Keys, land of the Barrier Reef. I love me sweet beliefs. If I ever had to leave Belize, if I ever had to leave Belize, where would I go? Where would I go? Where would I spread my bed? Where would I lay my head? Nobody knows, nobody knows. If I ever had to leave my home, Good morning. Here we are once again to do a daily devotion. We're going to look at this morning. It's fast. And storing up treasures in heaven. Those two things are important. Turn with me to chapter 6 of the book of Matthew. And we'll start from verse 16. Where it talks about fasting. You know prayers are grease when you fast. They, they give you access to the Lord when fasting. Fasting or aesthetics as we, as we call it also helps one to bring their body under control. You see, when you fast and you need to eat, you want to eat and you can tell your body you ain't getting it. After a while, you notice that the hunger pangs go away. They leave. Just like that temptations if you could tell your body you won't get food you can tell your body all those other desires that it has that it's putting you under pressure for you can tell it the same thing and say uh uh you won't get it it will be very very beneficial to you so the, the here talk Jesus talks about fasting from the sermon on the mount that people do certain things to draw attention to themselves and Jesus Christ is saying, when you do that, you've gotten your reward. I don't want to fast and suffer so much just for people to know. I want to fast and suffer so I could put my body under control and that I could speak to the Lord. He says, when you fast, not if you fast, when you fast. This is Jesus talking. Matthew 6, 16. When you fast. Do not look somber as the hypocrites do, for they disfigure their faces to show men they are fasting. Every time I pass a Malay, hold a stomach. What happened to you? No, oh, I didn't fast and pray, but man, I suffer. That's what he's talking about. There is no benefit in doing things like that. It must be where this fasting is that nobody knows, and it's between you and God, and you're talking to God about things that you're praying about. Amen. He says, I tell you the truth. They have received their reward in full. So if you are doing it so people see you, when people see you and say, they come on the patch and say, poor Pastor Timmy, look where they suffer. You get your reward because that's why you're doing it. But if you're doing it because you want to be closer to the Lord, then that's between you and God. You don't need to tell anybody. He says, if you do it as the hypocrites do, when people look at you, you have received your reward. So, but when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that it will not be obvious to men that you are fasting, but only to your Father who is unseen. Fasting is between you and God. Not if you fast, when you fast. That's another thing it's saying here, that we should fast. It says, and your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. You see, Jesus Christ is saying here that God is going to reward us publicly when we fast. And then the next thing that you have is treasures in heaven. People don't think that when we do things on earth that things happen for us in heaven. Store up your treasures in heaven. That's where you're going to live 
permanently. That's a permanent home. And the Bible is telling us, Jesus is telling us, stop. He said, verse 19, do not store up for yourself treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. You got a whole amount of money. For example, Pablo Escobar. These guys were spending millions of dollars on rubber band. Go and see where Pablo Escobar is now. See if that money is worth anything for him. And all the people who have lots of money, the money that you make on earth helps you in no way in heaven. You imagine if they, but the intensity of these people going after money, that they were going after spreading the word of God, these drug dealers, what a different world we live in. Can you even imagine that? That going after the things of God with just ferocity or with such fervence, how the word of God, how the things of God would propagate? Can you imagine that? It says, But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moth and rust do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where, and look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The Bible says out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. See what you're saying and see if it is in line with going after saving souls and loving the Lord. What is it that you value? He says, the eyes, the eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are good, your whole body will be full of light. If then the light within you is darkness, how great is that darkness? If that darkness is so bad that it oozes out through the eyes, it says, no one can serve two masters. Either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. your mobile experience with Smart's Powered Up Postpaid Plans. Imagine a world where your data speeds flows faster than ever. Well, guess what? We've cranked up the dial and unleashed the postpaid power of Smart's lightning-fast LTE data on all our postpaid plans. That's right, no speed bumps, more data. It's like having a limitless highway of data speed at your fingertips. Whether you're a lone ranger with an individual plan or a squad rolling with a group plan, everyone gets to surf 
stream and share at enhanced full high quality speed. Switch to Smart's powered up postpaid plans today and ride the wave of postpaid power. Visit any Smart showroom or smart-bz.com for details and make your mobile experience smarter and faster. Smart, bringing people together. Sweet beliefs, land 
love this sun and sea, I love the coconut tree, I love me sweet beliefs, sweet beliefs, land of the isles and keys, land of the barrier reef, I love me sweet beliefs. If I ever had to leave Belize, if I ever had to leave Belize, where would I go? Where would I go? Where would I spread my bed? Where would I lay my head? Nobody knows. Nobody knows If I ever had to leave me home No other place I ever wrote Could be like Belize Be like Belize Sweet Belize Land of the sand and sea Land of the coconut tree I love me sweet Belize Sweet Belize Land of the eyes and keys Land of the barrier reef I love me sweet Belize We all are very for now Green Clean, all your cleaning needs in one bottle.
Blessed Gardens is servicing home gardens across the country from the nation's capital and helping Belizeans reconnect with nature. We have everything you need for your home garden, so get growing. We have various types of soils, fortified soil, composted soil, potting soil, and pure compost for your garden. We have quality seeds and over 65 varieties of food seedlings for your garden. We even have organic insecticides available, EM soil treatment, and polishade for your excessive sun or rain. Blessed Gardens has all your garden solution in one location. Call 610-5679. Visit us at the Bumapan Market Plaza or enjoy our free deliveries across the country. Blessed Gardens. Get growing, please. Welcome to City Pulse by your Belize City Council. Join us on an exciting journey through the heart of Belize City, where we showcase the transformative initiatives shaping our resilient community. Our commitment to the people is unwavering as we continue to develop our city one community at a time. Like the rehabilitation of the Holy Emmanuel community in the Lake Independence area. From London bridges and unpaved roads to the installation of bridges with a canal lined with gabion stones, improving Sweet Belize, land of the Isles and Keys, 
land of the barrier reef, I love me sweet Belize. If I ever had to leave Belize, if I ever had to leave Belize, where would I go? Where would I go? Where would I spread my bed? Where would I lay my head? Nobody know, nobody know. If I ever had to leave me home, no other place we ever wrote could be like Belize, be like Belize. Sweet Belize, land of the sand and sea, land of the coconut tree, I love it, sweet Belize. Semana Santa, Tuesday, March the 26th, and it's my pleasure to be here with you this Tuesday morning. My name is Louis Wayne, and welcome to Rise and Shine. Rise and Shine is watched across the nation of Belize, and of course, we are present on the various streaming platforms, as well as we are live here on the channel. We encourage you to continue to download and use our, our app, which has Plus Radio, Plus TV, and Plus News on it. We normally start with the weather, and that is how we are going to start off this morning, because it's going to be hot, 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 feeling hot, hot, hot. I hope you're following these weather patterns that are taking place right now. Uh, last week, uh, Thursday or Friday, I believe it, it was last week, uh, Thursday or Friday, we had a 105 degree outdoor temperature. Um, that's late last week. The other days were between 92 and 95, but we ended up uh, with a 105 degree day. And today, um, the different apps are showing that today will be another very hot day at 105 degrees. So we're going to take a look at the weather report, but at the telephone now, start drinking your water. I mean, I even wake up this morning and I don't feel 100% already, so <laughs> it, it, it was warm during the night, and it's going to get warmer. So on days like these, if you live in and around Belmopan, you will see that the air is already um, what we call foggy. But, but really and truly, it is kind of a combination of fog and, and dust or, or, or smoke. And, and so it's called smog. It's not really fog. It's, it's really smog. Um, smog is a mixture of very, very small water particles that come uh, from, from the fog, but then it's also smoke. Where is this smoke coming from? It is a tremendous amount of burning, burning of organic material that is taking place in our country and in, in Guatemala. A lot of land is being burned. And this smoke goes into the air, but the, the, the smaller particles can actually get dispersed over a, long, over a large area 
and those sm smaller smoke particles remain suspended in the air. So you will see it especially in the evenings because in the evenings you will see that you can actually see the sun and the sun is round. Normally you, you can't look at the sun. Normally you can't, you will, you will just see the brightness of the sun but you can't look into the sun. But in the evenings, you could actually see, because it's, the sun is now, at, the light is coming in at an angle, you will see that there are, there's tremendous amount of smog in the air. So let's take a look at the weather as we begin this morning's report. March 26, that's today at 6 a.m. this morning, the general situation calls for hot and dry condition to prevail. It will be hot. Sunny and hot, with a few cloudy spells. Tonight's skies will be partly cloudy, with little to no rainfall expected. Winds will coming, are coming from the east to southeast at 5 to 15 knots with sea state choppy. Waves will be 3 to 5 feet. Now, let's take a look at the temperatures. We start with inland temperatures because Plus TV does not, we are not on the coast. Plus TV is really a... Uh, um, Belmopan based station we broadcast to the nation but when it's warm in inland areas we, feel, we are that number and then in the hills is, is Mountain Pine Ridge and, and uh, Santa Elena San Ignacio, Benque Viejo those areas are considered the, um, the, the uh, hilly areas so let's take a look at the temperatures, the temperatures for today. Uh, 104 degrees inland. See, so they have it one degree lower than what some of the other apps are saying, which is 105. And the low will be 75 degrees Fahrenheit. On the coast, so on the coast would be Punta Gorda, Dangriga, Belize City, Corozal. Orange Walk also falls with, within the inland spectrum. On the coast would be 91 degrees with 82 degrees Fahrenheit as the low. And in the hills would be 87 degrees Fahrenheit with 68 degrees as the low. So there is a heat advisory out for today. And it says temperatures will, will exceed 97 degrees inland. Residents are advised to stay hydrated and to avoid outdoor activities as much as possible, especially during the afternoon hours. So the outlook for Wednesday and Wednesday night is for hot and dry conditions to prevail during the day and then expect shower activity to be isolated during the night. So I'm also being told that they expect a cold front to come in. Where that they come from, <laughs> God only knows, but we're going to experience some, some tremendous heat today and then um, some cooler temperatures. So please hydrate and well, uh, what, what some companies do is they ask their workers to come in earlier, and then the, the, the hottest part of the day is not 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock. It's wrong 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. That's when uh, the peak temperatures um, exist. And so if you, if you are an employer or you work with men outdoors, then instead of take your 12 o'clock meal, maybe, uh, the 12 o'clock lunch break, Maybe if they come earlier, you can actually slide your, your um, lunch break one o'clock between 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock or 12.30 and 2.30 so that they come earlier and then they work two hours. Um, uh, they come earlier and then they get a two-hour break instead. And, and that would allow them to be out of the sun in the hottest part of the day. And that's going to continue into April. So whenever you see higher temperatures, you can look ahead and plan your work day, especially if your men are working or outdoors. And I shouldn't say men working outdoors, I should say your workers are working outdoors because there are women as well who work outdoors. Some of them are um, on road projects and many other projects. So with that, let me say good morning to my Tuesday morning co-host, Kerm Timbrell. Kerm, it's good to see you. Welcome yes, home, yes, I should yes, say. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. It's, it's hot. It's very hot. You know, I was in the States and it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> when I came to Belize, I'm like, what's going on? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> We're having long sleeves and hoods and, and warm caps and it was still cold, you know? <laughs> March, March in the U.S. where you were. 
You are kind of in the lower part, right? Yeah, so the upper start, part must be experiencing oh my. some, yeah, some yeah. Um, harder temperatures. It was really cold. I mean, really cold. So I was shocked when they yeah. got here. Now I say it's hot. I say, what? It can't be hot. Because it's <laughs> <laughs> Yes, a beautiful world mm -hmm. experiencing different so, temperatures. And so we're just reminding uh, people to remain hydrated, drink a lot of water. Um, you, you need, I think, at least four liters and, and um, maybe, maybe more, uh, drinking a gallon of water, measuring it to make sure that you at least reach the minimum. Uh, let's take this call and then we'll begin our conversation for the day, but it's good to see you. Carla, good morning, you're on the air live. Morning. Good morning to you. Morning. Um, you're hearing me? Yes, loud and clear. Okay, morning, Louis. Um, I will be busy later on today, so I decided to call early. I reside right at the mile 51 home in Kamalote. And right across the street, right across the highway from us, there's this company that is blasting to get mall off a hill. But the thing with it is I'm home from yesterday and over the weekend as well. The amount of dust, Louis, when these big um, dump trucks out from there it's unbearable and apparently the company doesn't seem to care to at least wet the area the entrance going in and coming out and then when they blast our house it's more than one time and they do have police officers that come and inform us that they will blast but the blasting it affects our home you could hear the louvers shut and um, shaking and the the house it's a concrete house and you feel the vibration so I don't know what the authorities could do about it, but it's becoming ridiculous. And I know they, they need the material because they're working on some of the roads at the back paving. But the dust, we, it's unbearable. So I don't know. I almost took a video yesterday to send to you with the amount of dust that these dump trucks um, create when they're hauling out from at the back. So that was my concern. Thank you. And it's right on the highway in Kamalote, right at the mile 61 post. Thank you very much for your call this morning. Okay. Thank you. Kerm, but they're back. Yeah, they, that's, that's, your, that's your beautiful village. Yeah, Louis, the whole thing offensive to me because that piece of land, eh? mm -hmm. I remember having a conversation with the chairman about that piece of land being put up for the community. Next mm -hmm. thing I know, somebody owned it. Yeah. Total corruption. Yeah. Total corruption, Louis. And it's so offensive. The next thing they're creating a second uh, activity. Uh, uh, Grey Syrac, what do you call it? Grey Syrac, where they're blasting right on the highway, you know, and it's, 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 the place was beautiful and green. Now, here we are. Whoever got owned the property um, is now, you know, they're moving. Well, I think, we, I, think, I think we need to do a story, we need yeah. to do a story on it because for me. Um, at, least, at least with the Grey Syrac area, there are no, um, houses nearby, like it's yeah. not, there's not a community yeah. so close to the, mm -hmm. um, to the, the, so what you call it, to the, 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 the yeah. right, right, to the extraction point. Um, in Kamalote, uh, there are people that live, because the, the west, the western corridor has more, um, a, a very high concentration of communities. Right. You can practically drive from Belmopan to Cayo and there, there are people or houses or resorts or yeah. along the entire highway. Mm -hmm. So um, I believe, if I can think right, there are some small hills. If I'm driving to Cayo, there are some small hills on the left yeah. after you um, pass the school. Right. Is it? Right after the school. Right after the school. It's about two there's a yards after the Right, school. and then after the, to the left. To the left. So there's a school nearby. Um, so that's, that there are laws that determine what type of activities can take place in proximity to a school. So that, that law needs to be looked at. Um, the Department of the Environment needs to be informed because if there are houses in the area, it's not just an issue of dust dust perm is not just an issue of land use because that's the one that you that you brought up the fact that that the, the land could have been um, used 
in your community, which is already landlocked. These, mm -hmm. these lands are landlocked. So finding a piece of land is, is um, for your, your children and your grandchildren who live in the community, yes. much less those who want to move to your community, because people love Camalote yes. has a very good reputation. So, so um, that should have been land uh, identified for expansion of your community. Right. Now it is doing, in a sense, the opposite, because you're, if, if you are doing mining of material in that area, you're talking about explosions, yeah. you're talking about the increase in traffic, you're yes. talking about noise because there's going to be grinding or whatever it is, or heavy equipment pollution. in the area, noise pollution, and then there's dust. There's going to be a lot of dust. And, and we, we had covered the story out in Santa Elena when some idiot made a decision, or a group of idiots made a decision to mine the, the Santa Elena um, quarry and the detonation, you remember when the detonation broke houses and the type of stuff? Yeah. Because if people are experiencing cracking in your community, cracking of their walls mm -hmm. in your community, then cracking is taking place in the foundation. Because if, 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 if the wall is what you can see, foundation is what you cannot see. And so um, it needs to be brought to the public and, and also finding the proper recourse. Luis, you forget one, a very important one. Yesterday I was driving down the highway, heading to Belize City, and some of the same trucks that was coming out were throwing the rocks because they don't do what the law says right. to cover the pants properly when yeah. they're extracting these materials. And um, man, I was, I was like, if he breaks my windshield, I'm like, oh, if he breaks my windshield, he's not going to pay for it. Yeah. That's what I have to end up saying. And then insurance doesn't pay for no, it either, right? Because so that's my expense. Yeah. Yeah. Even though the law says that mm -hmm. these trucks should have the, the tarp pan properly covered. And, and a particular height, the, right. the, 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 the um, mm -hmm. material is not to exceed. See, well, those pictures, I, I believe in an active um, community, an active electorate, an active, uh, um, active participation in the process. Because if we are not active in the process, Businesses will run over us. Of Politicians course. will run over us. Of course. Um, we, we are looking into a situation here where the new administration is already getting ready to cut up some greens. Um, and to be specific, the greens behind my area, which is a very, very beautiful and pristine area. And the reason why I bought a house on the edge is for the greens. Of course. And so the, I will just say at this present moment, the powers that be um, have no interest in finding out from the people whether or not this is something that they would be interested in. But I believe in activism, so those things I don't believe will roll over, yeah. roll over us. And I would say the same thing for Kamalote. Yeah. I would say the same thing for Kamalote. Listen, businesses come and go, politicians come and go, but your community is going to be there. Yeah. What is it that you as a community, maybe a community meeting or something yeah. like that, and you come up with a position as a community, and then you begin to agitate um, a way forward. You have a chairman or a chairperson. Yeah. You know, I mean, chairpersons don't get paid much, but they have the title, yeah. and they run for office. Yes. Our chairpersons have to get up and start to do some work with the support of the community behind them. And I think our chairman knows that we love and support him, and mm -hmm. so he, he can, we would rally behind him any day. You know? so, but Louis, you said a lot. And, um, to me, when I look back at this situation, well, like, I want to say this first before I go into this other thing with the land, because there's crime in the news. Yes, and yes. I'm tired yeah. of this news. Every time crime, they call Kamalote name. Kamalote has nothing to do with no crime. We, have, we are a crimeless society. Our community is so family oriented. Mm. People love and respect each other. We don't mm. kill each other. The hour is only for a Rory pick, and I think you have to say it like that. Yeah, well, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. I hate to say it like that. Yeah. It's never in our world. Well, I, 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 don't think, I, I, don't, I don't think that the police officer was shot while crossing the Kamalote Bridge. No, exactly. <laughs> I don't know why they keep saying Kamalote every yeah. time something is crime. Mm -hmm. We don't have crime in our community. Mm -hmm. You know, my wife, my wife has found out and so mm -hmm. she's not used to it. That people pass through your yard mm -hmm. and until people go through that's how we live yes you know and she's like Grr. and she, I, 
it's okay. Yeah. Nobody to tamper with my stuff. Yes, yeah, they just pass through. They just pass through. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate the fact that we still live to have that community spirit. So we don't have crime in our community. And so I hear to hear that the Kala is having this difficulty. And um, that is one of the chairman, not this chairman we have right now, is to be blamed. Because of the corruption, what happened to natural resources, where people go and cut deal and take land, and next thing you know, it's switch yeah. name. And this is, these are some of the lawlessness yeah. that's breeding lawlessness. So yeah, and then instead of the court look at the corruption and the switching of documents, the court appears to only look at who got the paper uh, yeah. and oh, oh, this are the official document. Well, yeah. for you, the land, mm -hmm. yeah, you, you know. And so I believe that that is one of the reasons why um, fraud continues to be perpetuated in the lands department that's right right um and pup come udp come whatever it, and we still get that corruption that's taking place in the lands department and the reason is because the, the court tend to uphold the last holder of the uh, it doesn't matter what the person went through what the person did may have been corrupt may have been criminal may have been illegal may have been so many things is the court uh, uh, yeah. It's like justice is indeed blind. No, who got the paper? Oh, you got the paper. Right. Well, you have the land. So let's take this call. Carla, good morning. You're on the air live. Good morning, Pastor. Wait. Good morning, Carl. Hey, the Hector. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. One will can be called part of the and I say this because I have noticed that from the field of tender of crime actually has covered our country in many ways. You mentioned corruption, murder, rape, assault, house uh, breaking and recalling laws, and many other crimes. But then, the one here of what measure will be taken as being taken. <clears throat> I heard the budget today. Well, we have one of the best budget presentation that I have heard. Details on what they are doing. What has been done to ever the situation? The project well designed and what is yet to be done. And this last one is the one that I like the most. Because Jack Price started, don't look at what you have done. He said, Well done. Look at what you have not yet done. That's it. He preached his message to us very constantly. Let us see those problems that are there. Now, crime, as I see it, comes in various ways. In my time, there are four men that take which one way. From the younger generation to that at sea. But we had discipline. The Tambran Whip, the Cat or Nine, and the Rope. The Rope was well. Everybody was afraid of the Rope. Today I know this poison, including some of my beloved church leaders. Join in that argument that it is cruel, it is violating human rights. When I go into the Bible, I find the Bible. Various places they are saying, if a man takes away another man's life, his life shall also be taken. Hmm. Claim by the various references. But go back to what we are seeing. We are seeing more than committing now. Openly, there is no life for now. Then give you 
you in this day. Innocent children, yes, is everybody. Is someone at the risk of one person criminal? So I am afraid when we accept it as part of the initial policy, and I leave it at that. The other thing that concerns me, namely, is the matter of I should give you that one very little. There are two very little ones. The least is the or one is that I say. And I know that it's, it's, it's public. Only a public can be to the judges noisy, judges on good noisy, judges they say, but at the end of the day, we don't know what to This important that is going on in Chikibuki. Is actually something to know. We are not in possession of the stars, you know, for God's sake. Let us not consider that. Room of the that we are in possession, no, we are not. But the matter is still in possession. Hmm. The righteous at the Chicken oh, Mr. Mansale, we did not hurry. Look, man, big and big stages. The food flows. To that's an invasion. But I don't hear too much response from the authorities concerned. What will the ICJ do? What will they decide? If they decide to the Guatemala side, how much? How much inside? Some of our politicians have been saying. We must stand to lose land like out there. What out there means? But yet, others say, oh, but the mala is okay. But the mala went straight. And it might do something. Hmm. The answer that I get is, oh, well, then we will seek somebody to come and protect us. Who is that somebody? Who is that somebody? When we are trying to alienate the United Kingdom of the East by the voice, by the political voice, that we don't want nothing to do with the UK. Get rid of it, he said. Not the Queen there, so you get rid of it. Do this. Take away. Come and wait. We don't select it. No bloody come and wait. When the court of May was erased out of the calendar, come and wait is our umbrella. But on the way that point, oh, let me write that down. These are my concerns. It's lying, but I don't want that much time. Because it's a toy, but I want for you to. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Carl, this morning, raising s several issues that are affecting us as a nation and continues to affect us. Uh, the issue of crime, uh, we were talking about the police officer, um, can we put up that photograph of the police officer who lost his life? And I think there are several police officers that have either gotten into an accident, stabbing incident, mm, just over the last couple of days. It's like um, police officers. But this is, the, is um, at least what we know, the most tragic um, incident, accident that has taken place. Um, um, Maybe just before we do that, um, I'll, bring, I'll bring back Dylan Anthony, but there is some news out of the United States. Um, Baltimore, it says that a key bridge, or the key bridge is the name of the bridge, collapsed after a ship collided into the, um, the, sh the ship collided, a cargo ship collided into the bridge. So it says, um, there's been a massive, massive emergency response for at least seven people, including construction workers who were working on the bridge. The entire bridge collapsed, Whoa. and it's almost a mile long. So it's called a ma it's a mass casualty yeah. event. It took about what? Hmm. The only thank God thing I can say it looked like it took place about 1:30 a.m. Could you imagine if that had taken place daytime? But that's just um, international news that just came in there, Kerm. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's serious, right? Um, but you, 
I think you describe what Don Hector said the right way. Mm. You know, you have several concerns. Series of. A series of concerns. Mm. And I think that is the heart of the Belizean mm. people. We don't have one concern right now in all of this. Yeah. Right? If you were to ask the average Belizean out there, how much concerns you have? Then I tell her I have a series of concerns. Mm. And yet, we feel as if though these concerns are not being given the appropriate attention. Or if they are in fact been given, Lewis, then it means that we don't have the answers because, you know, I was, when this young man this, got the shot. The shit continues. Exactly. Yeah, just, yeah. Like when I put a downward spiral, when this young man got shot, I thought about President Bukele. And you know, one month we could fix this whole problem. Yeah. One month. You could just listen to the man right. That's Salvador. One phone call. Listen, yeah, sir, yeah. we need some help. <laughs> we need that blueprint. <laughs> we need that blueprint. Can so, you send us a, a, yeah. a delegation to help us? 29-year-old Dylan Anthony. So we put back up his picture. Because I think most of the people are saying that he was a calm, nice person. Very um, well so, Lois. Yes, and that he was walking across the bridge. I'm not sure was, was it a I bridge? Think was, I'm not sure if he was walking or uh, on his cycle. On, no, yeah. I'm not sure how it happened. But, but he was hit. They say it's mistaken identity. Yeah. And you are right because um, and my understanding is that the police are now combing Rowan Creek. Yes. And they have found that several gangsters from Belize City had come down into Rowan Creek. Wow. I can't say from which gang, but I will just withhold that information at the present moment. But there are, you see, and that are one of the problems because sometimes Rowing Creek like harbor criminal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so why would would Rowing Creek open itself to have gangsters that from Belize City residing in the area, and then so the police are doing a rounding up, just like what you're you, um, you're, you are um, saying right now. And that rounding up is yielding not only Roaring Creek guys now that are being caught in that web, but they found that several, several Belize City, and it's a sizable number wow. of Belize gangsters, Belize City gangsters that have been residing at least over the last week in Roaring Creek. We have a call. Carla, good morning. You're on the air live. So it's like you don't have enough problems there own and you're importing problems or you have people um, in your community that are affiliated with gangs in the city and allowing them to come in and to be in the city and then of course yeah. creating the kind of chaos that, that we are we are seeing now. Carla good, Carla, good morning. Good morning. You have to lower of course you have to lower your television. You have to lower your television to ensure we don't have a feedback, but we'd love to hear from you. Hello? Good morning, you're on live. You will need to lower your television. There's no other way. We've tried it for years. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Kill me, Carla. Yes, you need to call back. Yeah, 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 you, you can't be. Louis, is it okay to say that the gangs are running Belize? Is it okay to say that? I think Will it's... Will that be an unfair statement? I think it's true. I want you to judge me properly this morning. I, 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 <laughs> I think the cartels are running Belize too. Wow. Because hmm. how, many cart, how many cartel leaders are behind bars? None. None. Right. So do you think cartel leaders are not in Belize? How, how, can, how can Mexico have cartel yeah. operating? America have cartel operating, Guatemala have her yeah. cartel operating, Honduras have cartel operating, no, and I can none. go, and we know got none? We so innocent. Yes, <laughs> there, are, there are cartel players behind bars in every single one of those countries that yeah. I have mentioned, excluding Belize. Yeah. So, so I think our politicians are well paid, and our police yeah. officers are well paid by the cartel. I think the only reason why things look so calm and smooth is yeah. because they are allowed to do what they want. The I can only that's that's my only conclusion, and I've I've I have had that conclusion now for some time. Yeah, because you I know. couldn't tell the last time I had one job playing land. Now. Yeah, and they used to go every week. So I mean, right. either the demand decrease, right? Well, they're still coming every week. I I, I don't ex yeah. I I don't anticipate that 
they will come less yeah. because all over the world they move more. They move more. <laughs> Drugs have been higher yeah. demand. Yes. So what's yeah. and, th and this to me, this is one of the reasons why I feel. So what what other Batman, conclusion can we have? This is one of the reasons I feel bad men don't respect the police. Mm. Right? I came to real quick just so I want to say kudos to the police department because there was a presence there. And I was concerned because since the shooting, I only missed one mobile pass. And I thought there should have been a heavier presence. Now when I came this morning, we saw men ready for serious activity. Mm. I mean, they were, they were, there was a checkpoint. You had officers on the bridge. What, what happened to the intelligence, Kerm? Because now this is after right. the fact when yeah. a police officer is dead, yeah. mistaken identity. There had been a, a shooting the night before. Two nights before. Two nights before, Three right, nights right, right, right. So the right and you shoot know? up the house and this yeah. and that. So, so shootings have been taking place. So where was the intelligence? So you see, if you attack my intelligence, there's a different aspect of intelligence. <laughs> Where is the cameras, Louis? Yeah, yeah. Louis, we're not serious about crime. Kerm, you know what? Crime is getting out of hand, not to change the topic. Yeah. <laughs> not to change the topic, then I change the topic. <laughs> but it's all in the right. same thing. Yeah. Online scamming. Online scamming too. Ooh, online scamming. Yeah. A person just went to court because he, he take like about 30,000 or something like that for a vehicle and not bring the vehicle in yet. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. And I know of cases where people buy something on, on marketplace yeah. and they not get their product, wow. but, have, <laughs> but have sent the money to the location, to the bank account. The bank account, they have sent money to the bank account. So now they say, okay, my product will come. Um, I know I sent it to that bank account. And when you check the bank account, the person who owned the bank account says, yes, I received money, but it's, from a, but it's for something else. And, 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 and there okay, are a couple of, what? There are a couple <laughs> of scammers. So why, why, am I, why am I saying that right now? There is a bank. I will not call its name at the present moment because normally when you send money by bank, yeah. you should be able to say, you should be able to say, this is the bank account number, correct? Yeah, yes. And this is the person name, of course. right? And there is a particular bank where all you need to put in is the number and it doesn't matter what name you put there. No, no, you're the, serious. The, yes, that yes. The, right here in Belize, the, the, the money will still go through. So Central Bank, they don't work either. I'm telling you. So the reason why it crossed my mind is because yeah. you use the word intelligence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you said they're living kind of level because, right. no, yeah. if we cannot hit the crime on the street, when cyber crime really escalates out of that, if we don't have the intelligence yeah. to do intelligence for street, yes. how will we have the intelligence yeah. to do the intelligence yeah. necessary yeah. for cyber crime? So maybe the Prime Minister was right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yes. But when there is no intelligence, in, I'm just kidding. Come but, on, yes. the so I know at <laughs> least two or three stories. Actually, yeah. I know more than more than three stories. More than three stories recently of scams that have been perpetuated through like marketplace, yeah. the internet, and that type of that type of stuff. So it is yeah. increasing. Louis, I was speaking yesterday to a huge client of mine and the whole system online has been um, hijacked. Hacked. 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 They locked right. out it. They right. All the finances, yes. all the locked out of it. Louis. If we can handle street intelligence, yeah. and we can. how? We can. How? Yeah. How? You know, <laughs> um, uh, if you can't, what I say, if you can't walk yeah. with the heart, if you, you can't, can't run with the, run with the footmen. Yeah, you can't deal with the horsemen. Yeah, yeah, if you can't, how you, how you can't run with the horsemen. Yeah. Uh, I think I lost the call in, in that process. Carla, please call back. But, but um, hmm. intelligence is what prevents those types of things from taking place. It's the intelligence. So um, I know for a fact, as I said, that we have put in a report about a fraud. We have put in a report about a fraud yeah. and have heard nothing back, nothing back from the police, yeah. right? I know this is, this is, this is, 
some of the frauds that I've been reading about are in the thousands of dollars in our Belize. You know, like little Nigeria, it's like we're becoming little Nigeria slowly. So we're not now just talking about the crimes that are taking place, for example, the violent crime that took place in Roaring Creek that we're talking about where the guns are now seen, but it's, it's moved online. Yeah. And so criminals only reduce their criminality when they know that they are going to be caught. That's right. So the Bible talks about swift justice. Yeah. Swift justice. Where there is not swift justice, so it has to be swift and it has to be justice. Where there is not swift justice, then the boldness of the criminal is enhanced. Right. And then you have criminal, you have criminal minded, yeah. and then you have good citizens. Yes. And the problem, a criminal will always do what is wrong. Yeah. A good citizen will always do what is right. That's right. But the problem is the criminal minded. You see, the criminal-minded will do good if they know they will get caught. Yeah. So they're criminal-minded, but they're not criminal yet because they're afraid for the catch. They test the water. Yes. You see, but when, when the criminals get away, criminals get away, criminals get away, the criminal-minded person now begins to say, okay, now I can commit crime. Cross over easy. They cross over easy. Say, we want them to cross over this way, not That's this right. way. But when your system is down, your system is weak, the, the criminal minded becomes a criminal. Carla, good morning, you're on the air live. Pastor Wade, you just mentioned FIU. We need to lower our gain. Yeah, okay. You just mentioned FIU. I have a question that I've not been Continue, sir. Question is that I've been asked. For example, we heard about an Asian, put the, put the Chinese, up. whatever you call him, who came with $400,000, went to the Belmopan to the Conquer, bought the top office from the public office, and I called them who were going to investigate. How that man came with that four hundred dollars? Did he go to a bank? They said no. He from Colorado, he had to have a car for years ago. So that one, but I went down to the list with him, and I went around the list, and I have seen in depth of hundreds of millions of dollars in building. I took a complete tour of Belize and I know Belize is good. I live there pretty. And I went by the Hanova Road to what I saw in construction is outside and heavy. It, it baffles the mind. My question, do these people go through FIU or does FIU get on where that money is coming from? I said this because presently Belize is losing all blood to foreign buyers. Hundreds of thousands of people are being bought. Well, they heard the first they heard the one that the fact. They, they are everywhere where our lands are being sold, our islands are being sold from millions of dollars. Many islands have been sold. A little island has been sold. Is the FIU in, 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 in charge of it? That, how that must be used for Very scientific, so it's a massive investment. That far, we have big, big, giant stores that have done. I don't see anything we want to you know, to inform the legions how this is happening. We heard about passports, but economic uh, uh, passports, a passport by the hundreds of thousands. Few only were, were, were reported when they had that inquiry. But they said that was only
money for 2011 and 2012. What happened to all those that have been told to be independent? Where are those issues? It's questions that actually baffle the mind. How it happened? And will it continue happening? Where our country is not being sold to Guatemala, but is being sold elsewhere. We are going to be the process for our that our mind if I get it to get back children, we be possessed from belief. I leave you on that country. All right, just a few technical difficulties. Not sure from which side it is, but uh, we're grateful to Don Hector for contributing that information. Current ta final task before we go to break and come back. It's nine minutes after eight o'clock. Louis, I think um, Don Hector said it right. I, I like the first call. There's a number of issues that concerns great abilities and people. You know, and we want answers. Seems like the criminal minds are taking over. They strike when they want, how they want, and where they want. People that pay for hit in our country were so small. And we have a great example in President Bukele who could give us the answers to fix these problems. The issue is do we have the political will? And the citizens are crying out. And this is why I don't understand this because look at the election result in Salvador. It was clear that the people overwhelmingly supported that man for his presidency. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter if, if, the, if our governments decide to take this drastic measure that they will not get the support of the they people and win the, the election. Yeah, because the, the good citizen is the vast majority. Th that's right. The criminal element is just a small group of people. And you need to have a plan that works. Yeah, and you need to be seen. I mean, criminal is criminal in the sense that they will continue to do what they do regardless, um, regardless of, of what you, you try to give them corrective measures, you try to give them a job, and they're not, they're not going to change. And so that's why Bukele made that decision to say, you know what, we're going to get these people out of society because right. they do not they do not want to contribute positively to the society. They are menace to society. Mm -hmm. And so he has decided to separate them from, from society. And he's not joking. He's separating them um, permanently. Now, of course, I believe that there needs to be the justice system involved where they're given their day in court. Um, we, we do need that. But in the meantime, I understand that they're thinking, either thinking or implementing a state of emergency here in Belize again because crime has increased by 30, 30, 30 over 30 percent that's a sizable and significant increase all right so we'll take a break and then we'll come back and continue our conversation you're watching rise and shine on plus tv if I ever had to leave Belize, if I ever had to leave Belize, where would I go? Where would I go? Where would I spread my bed? Where would I lay my head? Nobody know. Nobody know. If I ever had to leave me home, no other place I ever wrote could be like Belize. Be like Belize. Sweet Belize, land of the sun and sea. I'm connected. Yo. I'm connected. We're connected. Create the perfect broadband bundle that fits your style with Smart Connect. With the Junior Bundle, get 50% off your national calls and up to 6 gigabytes of data at no extra cost. Get postpaid added for an additional cost of only $25 with the Prime Bundle. Stay connected with unlimited smart-to-smart -smart calls.
plus 6,300 megabytes of data and free international minutes. For the family, pay $28.13 more and get the Binge Watchers bundle with Netflix. This bundle gives you four profiles with unlimited streaming on multiple devices. Visit a showroom near you to sign up and personalize your own bundle combination with Smart Connect. Smart, bringing people together. This is an advisory to all business operators. If you play recorded music at your business premises, such as a bar, lounge, gym, retail store, restaurant, or nightclub, then you need a copyright license from the Belizean Society of Composers, Authors, Publishers. Breach of copyright law is a serious offense. Don't run the risk or embarrassment of having your music turned off. Contact Biscap today at 636-0564 or email info at biscap.bz where recorded music is played, copyright owners must be paid. Are you hosting an event for your school, church, business meeting, conference, private function and are in need of a PA system? Then call 610-5679 and have one thing less to worry about. Get your video, audio, lights, songs, and a family-oriented DJ needs met at one great price. Call us today at 610-5679 and let the show begin. Get ready for Ben! Fantastic discounts from now through to September 30th. Venice is having store-wide discounts on tools, paints, appliances, plumbing and electrical products, lights and fans, household items and much, much more. Visit a Venice store near you to enjoy fantastic discounts from now through to September 30th. Only at Venice. Quality and savings. Blessed Gardens is servicing home gardens across the country from the nation's capital and helping Belizeans reconnect with nature. We have everything you need for your home garden, so get growing. We have various types of soil, fortified soil, composted soil, potting soil, and pure compost for your garden. We have quality seeds and over 65 varieties of food seedlings for your garden. We even have organic insecticides available, EM soil treatment, and polishade for your excessive sun or rain. Blessed Gardens has all your garden solution in one location. Call 610-5679. Visit us at the Bumapan Market Plaza or enjoy our free deliveries across the country. Blessed Gardens. Get growing, Belize. Welcome to City Pulse by your Belize City Council. Join us on an exciting journey through the heart of Belize City, where we showcase the transformative initiatives shaping our resilient community. Our commitment to the people is unwavering as we continue to develop our city one community at a time. Like the rehabilitation of the Holy Emmanuel community in the Lake Independence area. From London bridges and unpaved roads to the installation of bridges with a canal lined with gabion stones, improving drainage in the area and complete concreting of Barbara Harris Street, driving social and economic development in a striving community. When I came here, there were no street no light, no water. The mud used to reach up to Pui Ankle. The horse had to wheel in my bike from the front yard so. to my house from the back wheel car. It was a narrow boat bridge, boat, so one man bridge. When the cars they pass, they speed up and then the dust just in your face. I sitting out here with my mask on just so that the dust don't get in my lungs, but I can't live like this. Frustration that made the thing that now that it happened now. You know, for look back and give God thanks that people come in at power, you know, and make things happen, you know, fix the situation. But we're not done yet. This year, we'll be rehabilitating the complex park, including the basketball court and football facilities for all to enjoy. With enthusiasm and determination, We'll continue to shape communities and a city we're proud to call home. 
Stay connected with City Pulse and witness the journey of a brighter, more connected Belize City. We're committed to your future. This People's United Party City Council is always about the people. Sweet Belize, land of the sand and sea, land of the coconut tree. I love me sweet Belize. Sweet Belize, land of the isles and keys, land of the barrier reef. I love me sweet Belize. If I ever had to leave Belize, if I ever had to leave Belize, where would I go? Where would I go? Where would I spread my bed? Where would I lay my head? Nobody knows, nobody knows. If I ever had to leave me home, no other place I ever wrote could be like Belize, be like Belize. Sweet Belize, land of the sand and sea, land of the coconut tree. I love me, sweet Belize. Sweet Belize, land of the isles and keys, land of the barrier reef. I love me, sweet Belize. Sweet Belize, land of the sand and sea, land of the coconut tree. I love me, sweet Belize. Sweet Belize, land of the isles and keys, land of the barrier reef. I love me, sweet Belize. If I ever had to leave Belize, if I ever had to leave Belize, where would I go? Where would I go? Where would I spread my bed? Where would I lay my head? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. If I ever had to leave me home, no other place I ever wrote could be like Belize. Be like Belize. Sweet Belize, land of the sand and sea, land of the coconut tree. I love me, sweet Belize. Sweet Belize, land of the isles and keys. Land of the barrier reef, I love me sweet Belize. We all are very for now, Misty so and Maya, living in peace. Sweet Belize, land of the sand and sea, land of the coconut tree, I love me sweet Belize. Sweet Belize, land of the isles and keys, land of the barrier reef, I love me sweet Belize. If I ever had to leave Belize, if I ever had to leave Belize, where would I go? Where would I go? Where would I spread my bed? Where would I lay my head? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. If I ever had to leave me home, no other place I ever wrote could be like Belize. Be like Belize. Sweet Belize, land of the sand and sea, land of the coconut tree. I love me sweet Belize, sweet Belize, land of the isles and keys, land of the barrier reef. I love me sweet Belize. We all are very for now, Misty so and Maya, living in peace. Sweet Belize, land of the sand and sea, land of the coconut tree. I love me sweet Belize, sweet Belize, land of the isles and keys. Land of the barrier reef, I love me sweet Belize. If I ever had to leave Belize, if I ever had to leave Belize, where would I go? Where would I go? Where would I spread my bed? Where would I lay my head? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. If I ever had to leave me home, no other place I ever wrote could be like Belize. Be like Belize. Sweet Belize, land of the sand and sea, land of the coconut tree. I love me, sweet Belize. Sweet Belize, land of the isles and keys, land of the barrier reef. I love me, sweet Belize. We all are very for now, Misty so and Maya, living in peace. Sweet Belize, land of the sand and sea, land of the coconut tree. I love me sweet Belize, sweet Belize, land of the isles and keys, land of the barrier reef. I love me sweet Belize. If I ever had to leave Belize, if 
I ever had to leave Belize, where would I go? Where would I go? Where would I spread my bed? Where would I lay my head? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. If I ever had to leave my home, no other place we ever wrote could be like Belize. Be like Belize. Sweet Belize. Land of the sun and sea. Land of the coconut tree. I love it, sweet Belize. Sweet Belize. Land of the eyes and keys. Land of the barrier reef. I love it, sweet Belize. Creole and Arifuna. Mestizo and Maya. Living in peace. Sweet Belize. Land of the sand and sea. Land of the coconut tree. I love it, sweet Belize. Sweet Belize. Land of the eyes and keys. Land of the barrier reef, I love me sweet Belize. If I ever had to leave Belize, if I ever had to leave Belize, where would I go? Where would I go? Where would I spread my bed? Where would I lay my head? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. If I ever had to leave me home, no other place we ever wrote could be like Belize. Be like Belize. Sweet Belize, land of the sun and sea, land of the coconut tree. I love it, sweet Belize. Sweet Belize, land of the eyes and keys, land of the barrier reef. I love it, sweet Belize. Creole and Arifuna, Mestizo and Maya, living in peace. Sweet Belize, land of the sun and sea.
that our people are, are hearing us. Um, yeah, so I have my concerns, and I have increasing concerns. Yeah. I have increasing concerns, right? Um, and the government, I think, said that they did a, about $96 million in surplus um, tax collection. Surplus? Surplus tax collection. Wow. So the tax system is surely working good. Yeah. Well, we need some of that on the street. Yeah. We, need, we, need, we need all of that on the street, let me yeah. put it that way. Because you are supposed to, you the government, is, you are supposed to calculate what um, tax revenue you will collect based upon a particular economic model. And when, it, when you are doing so well that you are over $90 million better than you expected, then it means the economy is doing better than expected, yeah. better than you even expected, which is a good thing. But now how does that excess flow back to the people? Mm -hmm. You see, so because it's possible for you to squeeze out those taxes out of businesses that are struggling mm. so your tax base yeah. your tax base yeah. can look good but you squeeze the life out of the businesses that generate that tax so so you could you could say business the economy is doing well based upon the fact that you collected extra tax but if you squeezed it out of our pockets we become slimmer while government becomes fatter. So it's easy for government to pronounce a fat year, yeah. but a f did we get fat? Exactly. You know? Or did it even feel fair? Because I'll give yeah. an example. Yesterday, I got mm. a clear four shirts mm. that he is on. Four shirts. Mm. And my tax was $115. Yeah. Right? And whenever I would come into the country, I was coming, I came in to. That's tw that roughly $25 per shirt, yes. which is roughly the cost of some shirts. Exactly. Each so, shirt is... How do I, how and do that's I, just a tax. That's just a tax. What do I sell it for? Yeah. So they're crippling the right. middle class. Right. 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 Who they drive the economy? Yeah. Kind of way to get it And, and Kerm, Kerm, you do business and I do business. So yes. we're, we're not sitting here as naive individuals or just yeah. sh shooting breeze. Or, or, mm -hmm. or just, we are in the business sector. And, and I know you do various businesses. So yes. you, you're sampling, you have sample from across various, various, and I do the same. Yeah. There, we, we have several areas that we, we try to, to etch out a living from. So government can declare itself a fat, a fat Friday. Yeah. Um, and we got Maga Friday. Yes, but we're having Maga, Maga Friday simultaneously. I so Louis. that extra finances need to find its way back. And I tell you, it's taxes that are killing us. Yeah. It's the taxes that are killing us because if the taxes are lower, we can etch out a profit. Mm -hmm. We can etch out a small profit, and then we, are a, we feel better as well, too. And you don't mind investing more because yeah. you know that there is a return right. for your investment. But if the taxes are, if the taxman is getting more from your business than you are getting from your business, then it's better you shut down. You, mm -hmm. Or at least those thoughts begin to fill your mind because you now it's like you're working for the bank and you're working for the government because the government is taking off the top from the taxes mm -hmm. more than you are getting. If, got, if GST is 12% and you can't get 12% from your business, then you're working for the government. Exactly. You're working for the government. You, know you understand? I tell it so we need officer, to feel it. Right? I tell her last week you know, that I brought in some parts, two pieces of part. I do tell me $400. Right? I tell her, miss, I do respect them, they kill the middle class. And the truth is, they don't care. Because some officers are not caring. You have a few good customers, a lot of them. What they do? I can tell you what they do, Louis, right? They, they nail your hard in the corner. If you bring in a part, 50% duty, yeah. they charge you another 50%. So you say, boy, that's a lot. I can imagine you spend a thousand dollars for a part. Mm -hmm. It could be this size, that size, or that size. And then when you call out, 
They are at the car sale good plus the shipping. They are the shipping. Yes. Plus they the are the shipping. Yes. And taxi. <laughs> so your duty might be let's say five hundred and thirty dollars mm. for a part, fifty percent by the part, fifty percent. You go like man, nah, a lot of money. But then he you nah know, use he you nah know, ease you because he nah you know, make a cut on the deal. So instead of paying five something now, all right, give me three hundred because it might big. Give me three hundred, and then. You pay the government 100 and then you see them you see yeah. 130. Yeah. That's how you work, you know, yeah. Luis. Yeah. I, I tell I say, officer, I'm going to kill the middle class car. Me, no pay money on the table. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I, I, I like to do the thing top yeah. of the table. We are, we are take the lick. Right? Yeah. So that we, the people, when the mm -hmm. people are fit, merely to take yeah. the lick. Yeah. Because the next blizzard, mm -hmm. all of them, I say, me, mm -hmm. I cut the deal. Mm -hmm. So they are actually driving corruption deeper and deeper. Yeah, be, yeah because less now, now the corrupt people are successful in business, and the ones that are bona fide that want to pay yeah. a genuine tax and want to do things the exactly. right way are getting cut out of the. Are you getting take the link, yeah, we yeah, pay yeah. tax for them. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the nail we had, yeah. they get scot free mm. because and some the, man get richer. Yeah. Government get richer. And the corrupt and we work for everybody yeah, and we yeah, only make money. Yeah, yeah, you understand? Yeah. And so this well, is the well, kind of thing, Louis. Well said, well said. It's. it's yeah. It's corruption all over. Yeah. It's criminal activity all yeah. over. And then your economy right. will collapse, you know, it will collapse. Look at collapse. Haiti. Look at yeah. look at some of the other countries around us, you know. Um, anyway, we got a wrap up program for this morning. Uh, your closing comments. Lewis crime, the my number one thing. Mm. And people like Mark the Prime Minister say the Prime Minister said we have talent. But then we act like we don't have talent for you. Mm. We act like we don't have intelligence for you. Right? We act in that way because a lot of this are simple mathematics. But you see, when you're involved in a corruption, you don't have no alternative to address it. Whether you're a political person, because people watch people with, people watch upstairs and say, well, you saw my boss, do my boss grow up, so why should I care? Listen, I want my piece of the pie. I want, you know? And so it start trickle down. And then next thing it start become like Mexico, Haiti, and these countries. Right? Lawlessness take over. So no bad man say, right? Well, I saw the system work, so I just run the street now. You know? That's where we are. And I believe that the majority, the greater part of our populace is hurting and crying out for change. People out there, listen, you walk through your communities at night, nobody left on the street. You go to Blee City, nobody left on the street. Why? People are in fear. Yeah, they yeah, yeah, yeah. People are in fear, yeah. Louis. And the bad man take over the streets. So there's no night economy. No. There's no economy after no. five. Gov government um, um, cashiers close at sometimes 3.30. 3.30. 3.30. No, they should have closed 3.30. Yeah. It's not half from 2.55. Yeah, five. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy. You imagine, yeah. that, I mean, like, dumping garbage at the garbage dump. Then by the close the garbage dump 3.30. Yeah. So here you are, spend the whole day, they chop down the tree, they clean up the place, whatever. You take it and you dump it by a trailer. And by the time you don't dump it by a trailer, the garbage dump shit. I say like, which garbage yeah. dump? Closes. Yeah. <laughs> At least have to get up and make a good job. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so now I have to yeah. spend a whole extra day. And fuel. Okay, yes. For you now, deal. I, I said, man, like, it's absolutely ridiculous. We are not open for business. Yeah. We're not open for business. You know, left a little late to go, go, go make a government payment. And by the time I reach there, you know, my day not finished till about six o'clock. I still got three hours in a my day. Six. Be it for garbage, my be it whatever. It, it, exactly. Time, well, I, well, true, true. <laughs> that, 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 that is true. Yeah. Right? But at least the, the, the day is running. Yeah. And then guys don't shut. That's government true. don't shut. Government, but the, um, <laughs> um, the, the treasurer has done, done the, the comp money for the day and done gone home. The garbage place don't don't close. Yeah. We're not open for business. Then we take we take Saturday, yes, we take Saturday half, we take Sunday half, we take Holy Thursday half, day Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Easter yeah. Saturday. I don't mind the holiday, you know. Yes, it's Holy Week. I, I get that. But the point is we got <laughs> we got holidays. Uh, I said holidays all year round. Huh? For 2.30, 2 3 o'clock, you don't can't get in um, some, some of these places. 
We need to be open for business. We're not your, we're not your closing comments, yes. and then I just interfere. <laughs> no, <that's what> <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, God, for today's it for the two. It's supposed to be. It's going to be a warm day. Please drink a lot of water. Stay hydrated. God bless you, Belize. See you tomorrow. Sweet Belize If I ever had to leave Belize If I ever had to leave Belize